everyone, Jenny here and Ellie, who is our cameraman. Can you say hi, Ellie? Hi! <laughs> Today I wanted to share with you a little tip and something that we have been doing the past three vacations um, with Ellie that has kind of worked for us and um, has saved us a little bit of money on souvenirs. Now, I was inspired back in November before our Port Orleans trip by Elf on a Shelf. I'm not super familiar with what Elf on the Shelf is. We don't have one, but I don't know a lot about it. I know that every day in December, Elf is someplace new, doing something different. I don't know. That's what I know of Elf on the Shelf. I could be wrong. So I was trying to come up with something to add a little pixie dust and a little magic to our vacations. And I came up with something called Tinkerbell in a Hotel. Um, for those of you that watch our vlogs, you may have seen um, some footage of Ellie waking up and Tinkerbell there with a little surprise for her in the morning. So I wanted to share with you what that actually is. Um, I wanted to sit down and give you like more in depth and maybe it's something for you parents that are taking a vacation soon. Um, maybe it's something that could help you with your next vacation. So what exactly is Tinkerbell in a hotel? Well, Tinkerbell sneaks in at night when we're all sleeping in our hotel and if Ellie was a good girl then Tinkerbell leaves a little surprise. That's it. That's what Tinkerbell in a hotel is. The gifts that Tinkerbell brings are something really small. Since she's a pixie she can't carry big toys. Right Tink? Tink is only a little a little pixie. So what Tink does is she sneaks into the hotel at night and she leaves a little gift. And Tinkerbell flies up to the fan. She's sitting right next to Ellie when she's sleeping, when she wakes up, um, or she's in like a completely new location that Ellie has to search for Tinkerbell and her little surprise. And the surprises and gifts that Tinkerbell leaves are, um, <laughs> Ellie got really excited. What? Ellie got really excited. I know. You want to you want to show everybody what Tinkerbell leaves? Yeah. You want to help me? Come here. Come here. <laughs> now, these are some of the little gifts that we that Tinkerbell shops for. Um, little Tsum Tsums. She loves Ellie loves surprise packs. Surprise packs, um, they've come in My Little Pony, Palace Pets, Tsum Tsums, which she absolutely loves now, but she doesn't like the like the little stuffed animal Tsum Tsums. She likes the surprise packs. She likes getting surprised. Um, and they range, these are $3, but her My Little Pony and Palace Pets are $2.50 at, at Target. Um, another place that Tinkerbell shops in Target is in the little dollar section and $3 section. Uh, Tinkerbell got really lucky in September in the dollar section. A lot of the stuff that she picked up was already 70% off. But Tinkerbell got some goodies for like 30 cents. Um, so you don't have to get a lot of expensive stuff. Plus the little toys that Tinkerbell leaves are small enough to put into your luggage or your carry-on. Tinkerbell understands that you're there on vacation and that you have to travel back home. When we take our vacation, we allow Ellie to get one souvenir from a Disney gift shop throughout the entire stay. Um, we take vacations anywhere from like three nights to five nights. So, one souvenir uh, during vacation. It has helped us. Um, she she knows that Tinkerbell will be coming if she's good during the day. And let me define good for a toddler at Disney. When you have a toddler and an infant at Disney, well, especially a toddler. When you have a toddler at Disney, there is so much going on for this little person. They are overstimulated, they are super excited, they want to do everything now, 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 now. So we understand that, we get that, we learned the hard way that <laughs> we're like, who is this child? We bring her to Disney and she's a completely different child. So we've, um, because we go to Disney a lot, we kind of understand how she gets when we're at Disney. So defining good for Ellie is no body throwing, tantrums on the ground, rolling around making a complete scene. Um, she is all out of sorts. You're not on her team. Naps are missed. So we get that there's going to be 
whining and a couple of tantrums, but we have had body throwing tantrums at Disney many times. And I know you guys probably don't see that on the vlogs, but it's because I'm trying to lift my child off the ground <laughs> and I don't have enough hands for the camera and trying to control Ellie. So yes, you don't see that. My child is not perfect at Disney, but Tinkerbell in the hotel, is it okay? Am I okay? I'm okay, hi. Oh, she needs to get my heartbeat. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so if we don't have any body throwing tantrums and just like crazy, crazy nonsense from her, Tinkerbell will come in the morning. Now there has been one time that Tinkerbell did not show up in the morning. I felt so bad because she got so excited. She gets excited every morning because she knows when we stay at Disney, Tinkerbell comes into the hotel. And she didn't one morning and it broke my heart. Another thing, when we go into, we do go into the stores. She likes going into the stores, especially the princess shop um, right behind the castle at Magic Kingdom. I had to tell her that we're not getting anything um, or we can get one gift. Uh, one souvenir, but that's the one souvenir that's gonna last you the entire trip and usually she wants to get something like the first day so I kind of remind her that Tinkerbell will be showing up with a little surprise in the morning So maybe we should wait until morning to see what Tinkerbell comes up with um, I'm not saying that's a foolproof plan because there have been many times where she's like no I don't want Tinkerbell to come. I don't want what she has. I want this right now Okay, well, I'm just gonna text Tinkerbell and let her know not to come. And that kind of changes everything. Um, still kind of huffing and puffing coming out of the out of the gift shop. But she remembers that Tinkerbell is watching because she's a little pixie. You don't know, she's so tiny, you don't know where she's gonna be or where she is, so she's always watching. Tinkerbell spends for our September trip that we took, that was five, uh, six days, five nights. I don't think Tinkerbell spent more than $10 on the little gifts, on the little um, surprise packs. And um, we had some crayons, some um, sticker books. I'm trying to remember like what everything is. A lot of the blind packs. The blind packs are um, really huge for Ellie. She loves the surprise aspect of it all. Again, if, you're, if your kid's into, now this is six plus, Ellie's three. Um, so I'm not condoning giving this to your toddler. Ellie doesn't put stuff in her mouth. Um, I know my child. So if your child's good with little toys, definitely look at this. But um, if not, stay clear of this because it does come with small pieces. Ellie, where's your Cheshire cat? Do you know? We've already lost it. Um, these come with like small little pieces. We're missing a, the Cheshire cat that goes with this. But this is what an example of what the toy is. Like these do come off. And if your toddler does put stuff in their mouth, this is probably not a good idea. Ellie doesn't do that. I actually glue these on um, when we're home. If we get something, we glue, because you can see they just pop off really quick. So for, it's, worked, it's worked for us. So just that, that's kind of like a disclaimer. Know your child, um, find what works for you guys. So I hope that maybe this tip could help you parents on your next Disney vacation. Try it out. Come up with your own fun little idea. We use Tinkerbell because um, she loves Tinkerbell. And um, we had a Tinkerbell doll and I thought it was cute for her to come fly in with the toy. Because she can lift it. And she lands. If you guys end up trying something like this, leave a comment down in the comment section. I'd love to know how it worked out for you um, or if you put your own little spin to it. Okay, everybody, we hope you have a great day. We hope this tip worked for you. And stay tuned next Thursday for our day trip at Magic Kingdom. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Get out of here. Show's over. I'm done being nice to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come here. I love you. I care. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Think about that. Oh my goodness, look who's driving! I feel like driving. Oh my god, no, I gotta drive it. Oh yeah, we're cruising. <laughs> I thought you were gonna drive. There we go. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mommy, can I help you? Of course you can help me. Can I go to the opening yet? You wanna go over there? Yeah. Just don't knock the camera. Okay. Okay. Ah! Spider Mommy!